Starting January 1st, there will be new guidelines for motorcyclists in California. When it comes to driving between two lanes of traffic, or what is known as lane splitting. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sam Shane. And I'm Sharon Rege. CBS 13's Macy Jenkins joins us now to clarify what the new lane splitting law means for drivers and riders alike. Macy? Sam Turin, we see it all the time, motorcycles driving between lanes of traffic, trying to get ahead of all of the cars. Well, now California is the only state that has the law on the books that talks about the practice. And CHP, well, it's up to them to decide how best to tell drivers how to do it. It makes me concerned, you know, because a lot of times you don't look two times, or if you even do look two times, they'll come on the side of you. My husband actually drives a motorcycle, so I don't have a problem with it. The battle over lane splitting has been brewing for years. In short, it's when motorcyclists drive between two lanes of vehicles. I try not to alienate drivers when I'm doing it, and most people tend to just get out of your way if they see you. Until now, whether or not it's legal has been in a gray area. The lane splitting, actually traveling through the lanes, is not necessarily a hazard. It, becomes hazardous when people start going faster than the speed limit or they start doing it in a reckless manner. Starting January 1st, new law means CHP can make suggestions on what they think is best for motorcycles when it comes to sharing a lane with a car. One, they say motorcycles shouldn't drive more than 10 miles per hour faster than the flow of traffic. Two, they shouldn't split lanes going faster than 30 miles per hour. Three, don't split lanes at merge points. And four, keep an eye out for cars in the distance. Are those things that you already do? For the most part, yeah. We wanted to know, will CHP start writing tickets for breaking these suggestions? CHP officer Nate Ashby right says they but won't, right but it's a different like story that. for cars on the road that try to stop a motorcycle from sharing the lane. Moving your vehicle in order to impede a motorcycle uh, is a violation, and you can be cited for that. Next up, those CHP safety guidelines will go into the DMV's guidebook for motorcycles. But Officer Ashby says it's up to lawmakers to write specific restrictions on what lane splitting drivers can and cannot do. So it's really up to the motorcyclists to make the prudent choice when and when not to split lanes. And CHP will still issue tickets to motorcyclists that drive at speeds that are unsafe for others on the road, the road, but that still applies to all drivers who are out there on the freeway. We'll all have to be learning these guidelines. Macy Jenkins live for us tonight. Macy, thank you.